a few gigglers in the crowd, which like did make me feel like less stress. And my knees squad. literally Ooh, start giving squad. out. Like, I'm, like in my head, I'm Bronson's like, Bronson's such a giggler. <laughs> Hi vlog, good morning. Uh, actually good night because it is literally uh, 6.45. We're heading to Austin, Texas right now. We're doing a little road trip. Mm -hmm. Bronson and I, and then Spencer, Paige, Tara, and then our other two friends, Justice and Cam, are all meeting us there. We got an Airbnb. We're gonna kinda like work the rest of the week and then explore Austin on the weekend. We may or may not be looking to possibly move there. We've always kind of liked Austin and we're like, you know what? Maybe we're ready for a change and maybe Austin is the move. We're on our way there. We're doing a little road trip. We're about to stop at Bucky's, and I'm so excited because I want to get some Bucky's jerky, boy. And oh my gosh, you have to try the pickled asparagus. It honestly sounds so disgusting. I know when I say it all out, I'm like, that's nasty. No one's gonna like that. It's so good. I'm not even an asparagus girly, but like, it's so good. Just trust me. Okay, instead of a podcast, we're also uh, listening to. Who TF did I marry? This lady has 52 parts and it's about her like like compulsive liar husband. We're only on part five. <laughs> we got a long way to go. Yeah, we do, but it's honestly really good. If you have time, I think it will literally take us like two full days to listen to this, but if you have time, it's pretty good so far. Dude, where's the jerky and where's the pickle? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yes. Dude, this is so good. Oh. Just like I make it. <laughs> yeah, right. You got your water. Oh, thanks. Hey, I want some jerky too. Are you gonna share or should I get my own? No, this is for us to share. I think I should get my own. <laughs> I think you should too. <laughs> Korean barbecue. I've never had it before. It looks good. And teriyaki. Dude, that's just an OG. Good flavor. Good. <laughs> Look. Dude. Goaded. These. Can you focus? Please, this is important. Okay, we're gonna compare teriyaki to Korean barbecue. My pee is gonna smell so bad. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Jerky number one. Oh, it's chewy. Jeez. They actually don't have the best jerky, it's overrated. Yeah. Way overrated. Yours is honestly better. Mm hmm. This is difficult. Way to too much effort. Wow. Not like it at My all. jaw. The other I could throw, just throw okay. it down. I think that one was not great flavor either. Korean barbecue. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I told you I didn't think that one was gonna be good. I love Korean barbecue though. <laughs> I'm just carry out too. I'm disappointed in Bucky's five four, not even five one. Bronson's ratings. You need a game show. I love a game show. Off we go. Boy. Here she is. Thank you for bringing them. Isn't this place Welcome nice? Welcome to Austin. Oh. I love it here, honestly. Wow. It's such a vibe. Wow. <laughs> Look how cool the Airbnb is. Honestly, good vibe. Bronson and I had to go get some dinner, so I got a little poke bowl, and he got P. Terry's, which we thought was barbecue. It is not barbecue. It is burgers. So we got up to the menu, and he was like, oh. I guess I'm getting a burger. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what is it? It's like a whole Whoa, it's like a butler's like pantry. Can we just move in now? Yeah, I think so. Let's take powders here and just call it a day. Amazing. Welcome to the butler's pantry. The butler's like pantry. Do you have something? Have a cup of coffee? Wow. We've got you. Thank you so much. That's your full service. Oh, goodbye. Wait, oh, I thought this had the hat. Uh, goodbye, just close yourself in there. Drink your water. Okay, this is, this does not look. Oh, that looks yum, actually. I know. Well, I know what's in it, so it looks yum, but I wouldn't say it looks the most appetizing. 
That's a good burger. Ooh, it smells good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I did salmon, smell. kale, white rice, avocado, mm -hmm. onions. Oh my gosh, you went to Bucky's and got asparagus? Yeah, mm -hmm. I am. Okay, can I've been jerky. waiting for so long. Can you turn that off? <laughs> Bye, vlog. <laughs> okay, so we're meeting up with a run club, but we don't know what they have, so we have uh, some pre-workout. And a spoon to mix stuff. Um, Wait, do we have another powder <laughs> or something? Oh, I don't. I don't. I didn't bring anything else. Karen has one over there. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna steal hers. You forget. You forget that. You take it off. It is chilly. I don't wow. think you're gonna want to take, confirm that is the right one. It might not even be. <laughs> could just be a random <laughs> Don't tell me you're getting ice. What is he doing? I don't love this. <laughs> I'm gonna follow him. Oh, there's two sides. Whoa, that's cool. That was just very unexpected. Oh. <laughs> He's just talking to the guy. I think they're closed. Literally gas fire. I will, the commitment is gas fire. Can you give me a thumbs up? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta document things. Oh, he's staring, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was watching us the whole time. <laughs> you know, it's like a good amount of water. I don't know if it'll be too. You want uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm Kathy? Gonna... Oh, what? How did the run go? The water is so cool. I would love to run outside here every day. However, I am a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> that gave me the ick. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I'm feeling a lot better. We, I literally got four hours of sleep last night. Maybe, if that. Um, we got up at five this morning and we did a run club with uh, Upspace this morning in Austin and we ran around Barton Springs and it was so fun. We only went three miles, but it was it was rough. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done like an outdoor run in a hot minute, like that long. But anyways, having some powders electrolyte. Lemon lime. This one's the best one. Best one. Best one. Are we in stock? Uh, we're about to be out of stock. Oh. We're about to be out of stock, but lemon lime's good, or I also like uh, pink lemonade. I'm not a fruit punch girly, but if you do like fruit punch, you'd probably like the fruit punch, because everyone else likes it besides me. I'm just a lemon lime stan, okay? Me too. My favorite flavor, actually fruit punch was my number one, and then lemon lime took over by storm. By storm! It is my number three. I'm just gonna be honest. Mm, wow. Speak your truth, sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to this place called Collective. Super, super cool gym in Austin. Um, it's also like a co-working space. It's a, so it's like both, which is which is funky fresh, you know? So we're excited. Um, I don't think we're gonna work out there. We're just gonna like go and tour it and just see the vibes. But I will say, we all are feeling very good about Austin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Paige, how are you feeling? Everyone here is like so fun and nice. They just like want to hang out and That's be outside. That's what I was. Off we go. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay, I want to taste this. Mmm. Nine. Nine out of ten. Wow. Really good. No decimals, just nine point oh. Yeah, just nine point oh. What'd you get? Oh, my god. Ooh, yummy. Okay, we went to Neighbor Coffee and Friends. It's like more in North Austin, and it's also like a little coffee. Ah, food truck thing. Oh my gosh, there's two lids on it. Oh, oh. that's interesting. Almond milk latte with sugar-free vanilla. I just, I decided to splurge today. Normally I do stevia. It's Friday. Oh, I got it in my matcha yesterday. I was like, I forgot. Oh, was it good? Yeah, it was so good. And I was like, I forgot I, how good that is. I really is. don't like sugar-free things. I'm weird it's like hit or miss that. for me. I'm weird like that. Mmm. You like your bad. matcha I just, I honestly wanted a matcha and they didn't have matcha, so I think that's what's affecting the score. It's actually like a good latte. Came to this coffee shop and we didn't realize that Griffin, his brother, literally works across the street at Corman Fine Jewelry. Amazing jewelry store. We went there yesterday. I will insert the photo here. They have like the most massive diamonds ever. Like this is a fancy, fancy, schmancy jewelry store. It's phenomenal. If you're in Austin, you should definitely go and see Griffin because he will hook it up. They have 
these things called monster diamonds. Like when she says monster. Dude. Monster. I'll input a photo. He let Paige and I try it on. <laughs> 20 carats. I was like. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. I was like, is this even, this can't even be real. So anyways, we're at this I coffee shop. We should Google how many carats Haley Bieber's ring is. It's like, gotta be at least 10. I definitely put something that big on my finger. Yeah. That was wild. But we came to this coffee shop and didn't realize Corman is literally across the street. So we got Griffin a little coffee and Bronson's walking it over to him. So we gotta go. Pay delivery, thank you, thank you. What did you just say? There's <laughs> a delivery for the happy couple. She got couple. really excited about that one. I see that you're wearing his sweatshirt. She got missing. cold. Oh, Paige stole it. Yeah. yeah. This morning. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't make that She brought it back. Day. Would you like to sit out in the sun with us? Yeah, it's honestly, nice. it's so nice. It nice. It's so nice out here. I know, it's perfect. Hey, you can't put that in the vlog. Oh, this is going in the vlog. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Everyone, disclaimer, hey. they're not dating. Uh, we stopped, and I really wanted a matcha, so <laughs> we stopped at Joe's. Dude, their matcha, some of the best. Genuinely. Almond milk matcha latte. This camera's about to fall, but it's so good. So we stopped at Joe's. I got this and a little taco. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> we are going to this place called The Well. I got a bunch of DMs saying this was like a yummy, healthy place. So that's what we're going to do. my gosh. Oh my gosh, Tara, come on. We did something very bad. <laughs> we got crumble cookies. Well, we need some I'm to, like, literally gonna them. like, oh God, I'm not okay. kidding. Oh baby. Show. Look at these. Look at so these. we have <laughs> uh, cornbread, <laughs> strawberry cake. Oh my God, that one looks so good. Old fashioned donut and what's that one? Chips Ahoy. So I had lost my glasses. Turns out I couldn't find my glasses because my glasses weren't on. They were right in front of me the whole time. Oh, that's time. so embarrassing. I found them. That's sit? so embarrassing. Wow, they're yeah, 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 let's oh. sit. You want to get a good shot of them with the sun? Yeah, hold on. Oh. <laughs> well, we have to try cornbread. Well, how are you going to do it? I was just going to cut little squares like this. That's so weird. <laughs> that's what they do. Oh, that cornbread. Oh, do no, you've already done it. <laughs> I need a little more. Wait, oh, it are we really cheersing? smells like butter. Oh, that's really good. Okay, you really? went ahead and tried it without mm -hmm. us? Yeah, sorry. I got excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. That's so good. Wait, that's so good. That's amazing. Mm. Okay, let's try the <gasps> next one before I get too excited to eat this okay. one. I did not think that one was gonna let's be go good. Let's go donut. Okay. Oh my god, I love old fashioned oh, donuts are my favorite. One. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, whatever, Cheers. man. Oh, wow. Old fashioned donut. That's really good. <laughs> it's so moist. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like the best week I've seen in a while. Really? Mm -hmm. You get them all. No, I never get them, but I check. So I far. don't necessarily want your ratings, but I want a ranking. Uh -huh. Okay, but not yet. Right, At let's the, see end. the strawberry one. Yeah, this, is this one looks it. the best. I'm, a, I'm, I love strawberry. This I one, love that the slices have gotten pro progressively much larger. <laughs> this one doesn't look the best to me, but well, I'll be, I'll be open-minded. Is it chocolate and? Oh no, no chocolate, just strawberry. Okay, cheers. 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 Mm, she's cheers. not letting that extra <laughs> strawberry go to waste. Mm, that's good. Mm. The strawberry flavor is, is so, so good. good. It is. Wow. It's so like hearty and just a little mm -hmm. bit, you know? Oh, they totally pureed those strawberries to make the frosting. She not was She's a chef. <laughs> She's a baker. baker. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's good. colder. I like the So cold like ones. I think it's gonna be like, you know those the soft Chips Ahoy cookies. Mm, not yeah. like the crunchy ones. Okay. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. It might be crunchy. Look at know. this one. This tastes like a cookie cake. Mmm. Mm. This is a cookie cake. This is my least favorite. Actually, I like it. But they're all good. There was not a single dud. Mm-mm. That one's the most dud to me. Oh, it's still go really good though. Cornbread. I really like strawberry. I really like the donut. Man. I'm gonna more. Yeah, I might need second. I'm gonna have I to might, yeah, I might just <laughs> need a little bit of a taste. Okay, here's my rankings. So buttery. Strawberry, donut, cornbread, cookie. That's my ranking. Good. Dude. 
Okay. That cornbread. I'm gonna really try one so more sick. Bite. I gotta try strawberry one more time, you know? <laughs> Just to be safe. I'm only trying them all one more time because of the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Okay, number one, strawberry. Mm -hmm. Two, cornbread. Wow. Three, wow. Mm -hmm, old fashioned donut. Four, chips. Away. Is anyone gonna have that last piece, huh? You go for of it. strawberry? No, no, no. Oh, of that? You it didn't even sucker. let me get it out of the box, my second piece, before you asked for the rest. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that one's so overrated. I'm so sick. Me too. I'm gonna it later. Stomach hurts Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> well, thanks, honey. You want me to feed it to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I brought it all the way over here. You didn't give me the luxury of feeding it to you. You can feed yourself with that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Mm. They got any more of this? Are you doing the fit check? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Do you want me to go first? You got it. Okay, um, this top is Revolve. I don't know the actual brand. And then these jeans are Zara and my shoes are Princess Polly. That's it. Okay. My shirt is from Aritzia. My jeans are Zara, and my heels are Zara. Where's the purse? Louis. Oh! Woo! Hit him with the Louis. Come do your fit check. He doesn't want to. He wants to. All black. We got shirt, Lulu. Pants, Lulu. Shoes, Alexander McQueen. Yeah. That's it. And hair, Spence. That's God given. God given right there. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Bronson's still getting ready. So. Anyways, we're going to this place called ABBA. It's supposed to be really good. It was like the number one recommended place by everyone when I asked on my Instagram story. So yeah, that's where we're going. It's like Mediterranean food. I'm very excited. I should probably take this roller out of my hair now, huh? Yeah. I can make no promises. Oh, I went to Ho's. <laughs> Joe's? That's a joke. Yo. Oh. Uh, Ho's. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Ho's. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, I kind of want to walk Joe. there. Is it close enough to walk? No. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> if I go get a coffee, would you want one? Uh, no, I'll, I'll take, take one. one. Oh, no, thank you. Do you want one? Yeah, I would rather not have this. Okay. Wait, are you driving Just somewhere you want. to Joe's? Yeah. I'll have a decaf vanilla latte. Decaf. Okay. <laughs> His body's is a temple. This Wait is a minute. Three, which is... Al, are you taking oh, all of those yeah. at one time? Yeah. What? I can only do three max. <laughs> I'll put it at 8.8. That's going to be 0.31. Slide the day. That was actually insane. Uh, okay, I'll take mine. I actually am taking four, so this is a new record for me. Wow, this is crazy. Yes. Oh, didn't do it. Okay. But you got there. Hey, you're close. We'll, we'll see how you do You have to hold your hair? You had to hold your hair. You had to hold your hair. Are you going to throw up? Mm-hmm. I took my handful of pills, she took four. <laughs> you took four at a time? Yeah. Wow. Oh, thanks. That's a big record. Thanks, That's I know. Time. This Airbnb is actually so nice. I kind of got really lucky, like it was one of the cheaper ones. Boston is not like a cheap place for an Airbnb. Like it was honestly kind of, ex all of them were kind of expensive, but this one in particular, it's a pretty good price and it's like really nice. I'm just gonna do just a little bit 
of makeup just to kind of cover. Here's a little skin update. It's actually doing so much better, but obviously like this is my problem side. Like this side like barely has any acne at all, but this has been the issue. And then I have a new one coming up here. So I'm just like annoyed with this side of my face, but it is, it does feel like it's getting less inflamed, which is good. But I just want to do like a quick little makeup routine. Honestly, this vitamin C, it's like tinted vitamin C from Typology. That's like the only thing, this is like the only thing that I've noticed that like doesn't break me out is light enough, but still covers, you know, like it doesn't feel heavy, but it still covers. I'll kind of show you. Also, I do work with Typology. I think I have a coat with them, but like I'm, I'm actually obsessed. Like I would buy all this stuff even if I didn't work with them, so. And the fact that it's a vitamin C serum and not just like a foundation is like, that makes me like love it even more. Cause it makes me feel like it's not just clogging my pores, it's actually like helping my skin like providing a benefit, you know? See, it doesn't like completely cover it, but I feel like it does a pretty good job at making it look blended in. I've honestly been trying to not wear makeup at all, but that's just when I'm like at home. If I'm like going somewhere, I'm like, I want a little bit of something, but not something that's gonna break me out. We kind of have just been looking a little bit everywhere. Like Austin's on our list. We have a bunch of places on our list. Like we're not really like picky because we're trying to just like, so here's the thing. We grew up in around Dallas. We went to high school there, middle school, elementary school, everything. And then we both went to college in Texas. I went to Baylor, he went to AM. We just feel like it was like a very safe move going back to Dallas. And we are not really ready to like fully just like settle down. We don't even know if we want to like be there long term. Honestly, like we have family in both Austin and Dallas, but we kind of just feel like Austin is a little more like adventurous. Dallas is a little more bougie, uppity, which like is fine, but it's just not really our vibe. Like we kind of like the vibe of Austin more. So we just are coming down here to honestly just like see what it would be like to live. That's why we came during the week so that we can work and then like we can like explore kind of in the afternoons and stuff. But yeah, that's kind of why we um, were coming down here. And then that's kind of, that's why we went, well, we were in Tampa for Steph's event, but that's why Bronson flew out is so that we could kind of like look at areas and see if Tampa was somewhere that we're interested in. But we haven't like made up our minds or anything yet, but I do think it's kind of a fun thing to share on the vlog. So if you guys are from Austin or if you just love where you live, let us know because we're kind of craving a change. It gave me a little bit of color back in my face. And then let's do my eyebrows. When I get a lash lift, they get so crusty. I don't know if you guys, does that happen to any of you? Like my eyebrows literally get like crusty and hard and I'm like, that doesn't feel right. However, I love a brow lamination because they just stick up so easily and then they just stay like that all day, which is so nice. Oh, here it is. Typology lip oil. It's made from vitamin E and squalene and they also have tinted ones if you like tinted ones But I just use the untinted one and I really like it. It's really good I got a lash lift when I did my brow lamination recently. It didn't even do anything like it's like already gone Which I'm honestly pissed about because they're expensive to get done. I do think it like curls better and like stays like that but like they should be like naturally curly and they are just literally not at all which is a bummer also this is what i've been doing i take hairspray and i just have a little spoolie i'm just like get it like that and then as my eyelashes are curled i'll like put it on there and i feel like ugh, don't get it in your eye oh my god it burns so bad ow i did a little bit but i feel like it helps my eyelashes stay curled way better just a little tip okay that's all we're doing right now let's go get some coffee Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Awesome. 
Thank you so much. Okie dokie. I always do a matcha latte, almond milk, and usually two stevias, sometimes three. Maybe three today because these are like the little sticks. I did two and a half today. I don't want it too sweet. Mmm, wait, that one's really good. Wow, okay, that one's really good. I always ask like, if you get Starbucks matcha, just know, just don't do that. That's not like true matcha. No offense if you like it, like, like if you like it, get it. But I'm just saying like, if you want like a true matcha, Starbucks is like a blend and it has like so much added sugar in it. That's why I was asking her, I was asking her like if it's like a blend. And she was saying this, theirs is a blend, but it's not sweetened. It has like hints of like florals in it. And I can taste it, it's actually so good. But you want like a really good true matcha powder, which, there's being a blend it makes me think it's not like the best matcha powder but it does taste really good so sorry i'm my my matcha snob is showing i actually want to drive around there's this house that i like really 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 like and it's actually really close to here and i was like so i'm thinking we drive by and see the location see the vibes <laughs> Delivery, delivery service. Oh, delivery service. <laughs> You're late, you look terrible ripping the intern a new one. You what? Did you really? Yeah, well no, I just. I didn't know if you wanted hot or ice. Okay. Oh, you're not okay. sorry. It's okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is Bronson's. Bronson's is, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, oh, yours ooh, is ooh, ice. Ooh, yours ooh, is ooh. ice, yeah. yeah That's yeah. a hot girl coffee. Oh, mm. don't say that. Good. I know, it, it is really good. Wow. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Lift ATX. Yeah. Guys, I've Whoa. I've never seen a badass gym like this. I think there's bouncers at the door. No way. <laughs> Wait, that's actually crazy. <laughs> oh, he's a TikToker. circuit full body circuit combined with running we're doing five minute run followed by the circuit four minute run followed by the circuit three minute sprint followed by the circuit two minute sprint followed by the circuit so increase your speed every time we're in the cardio row so let's get going Round two of four. Yeah, but these should be better. Shorter, but harder a little bit. This is my coach. <laughs> I listen to her and do whatever she says. Whatever she says goes, guys. That's what you gotta wow. learn. Okay. On to the next sprint. Yay. I just spit, I just spit my sweat. Oh my God. Okay, we are back home. I sound awful. Um, I know because on Saturday I actually came down with the flu like so bad like I didn't go anywhere Everyone like played pickleball and like explored Zilker Park And like did all these fun things that we had planned for the day, but I was like down bad Okay with the flu And so Saturday and Sunday like our last two days. I just like couldn't really do much, uh, but we're home now I'm actually feeling better even though I sound like horrible i know i sound so bad but i am feeling better i do want to kind of debrief austin though because this vlog like ended abruptly because i got sick but i 
had a really good time in Austin. I think we all did. We love like the outdoor aspect. We love how young it is. We love that everyone is like very outdoorsy and there's a lot of things to do. I feel like there's a lot of like hole in the wall places there. So like we had a really good time. I think that Bronson and I have the really bad habit of like thinking the grass is greener. Like I think that's that's something good about our mindsets, but like it can be a fault in a lot of ways too. Like I think like in business and like being super aspirational like that, it like comes in handy. But I think that we got, I think that we took for granted a little bit like where we live, what we have here, our community here. Because yeah, I'm just like driving back home to Dallas. There's like something in me that was just it felt like home. And I think that that is just like the Holy Spirit telling us, hey, you're where you need to be. Which is honestly a relief because I was like very up in the air about moving at all. I think we just got spooked with like the, the car, the trucks getting stolen situation. Like that just kind of like stressed us out a bit. We were like feeling unsafe about where we lived. So we're feeling a lot better about it. I think that Dallas can provide a lot of those things that drew us towards Austin, but I think it's, up to us to like pour into it like make it happen if that makes sense so yeah for now we're gonna we're not looking to move anymore like i think we're gonna, just gonna stay put we really do love our life here in dallas and that's what was making the idea of moving so hard it's like the people and we love the people here so we just want to like stay here nourish that cherish that so anyways that's the update we did have a great time though so austin is also only like three hours away so we can always just go and have fun and take a weekend trip like we did so anyways thank you for watching this vlog if you liked it please give it a thumbs up um i'm gonna have a new video out soon once i'm feeling just a little bit better i know it's annoying to hear me talk like this so i'm gonna wait to film until i the nasal clears up you know what i'm saying i love y'all and i'll see you next video